Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So in our previous video, which was related to using ServiceNow package in A360, we had demonstrated the entire bot, right? How you can use or how you can interact with ServiceNow uh, package. But uh, remember, there were a few prerequisites in that slide or in that presentation, which I have given. So those three prerequisites were the bot creator must have access to ServiceNow account with required permissions to perform tasks enabled by this package. Then there was a guideline to um, set up the OAuth 2.0 and then there was a need to create a developer account on uh, ServiceNow developer account instance. So we'll see these uh, sequentially. First we will go ahead and create a developer instance in ServiceNow. Then I'll show you how you can get your client ID and client secret and set up the OAuth 2.0 mechanism. And then we'll see if the if our bot creator will that have access to ServiceNow account with the required permission or not. Let's get started on that. So once you hit developer.servicenow.com, it will take you to the registration page or the login page. So uh, now, assuming we do not have a developer instance, so you have to go and click here, get a ServiceNow ID. I already have created this, so I can log in with my email and the account details. Okay, I'll show you uh, by clicking over here how to get a ServiceNow ID. They ask for a few details like your basic details, email, name, country and what, whatever password you want to set for this account. It will be your ServiceNow account and then for your instance, you'll get a separate uh, credentials, okay? So first proceed with this, sign up and then you'll get a credential to log into this um, portal, ServiceNow developer portal. Uh, I already have it, so let me log in here. So as soon as you sign up and create your account and once you log into ServiceNow developer portal, so you'll, you'll see these kind of options here, okay? Now moving on to this, so we have already created a uh, account and then we need to create an instance now. To create an instance, what you can do is you can follow this link and here you will see an option start building. Okay, so initially it will take some time for you. I'll, I'll paste all these links so that you can refer uh, these links as well in the description section. So let me show you here. Here they have given a guide as well, uh, which you can follow for creating your developer instances. So request developer instance, this is a old option. Now we don't see this option. Uh, instead, once you log into your portal, you'll see, you'll see all these options. And here you can click start building, start building your instance. Or if you don't want to go it from this menu, you can, you can see that over here as well, start building. Once you click on start building, it will redirect you to your instance or it is redirecting for me because my uh, instance is already uh, built. But for you, it will take some time initially. They will assign a developer instance for you and they will be building it for you. And remember, uh, if there is an inactivity for 10 days, for 10 days straight, then they will just hibernate or probably release your uh, instance. Then you have to again create it. So you have to log in in every 10 days. Okay. So this is how you, you get uh, the access to developer portal or developer service now account. And I have logged in with system admin user. So these credentials uh, you get once you build your instance, all the instance level details are emailed to you on your uh, account on your registered uh, email ID. Here we are having the region options. So my instance is currently pointing to Tokyo region. Okay. So this this is all about creating an instance service now developer instance. Okay, then the next is OAuth setup. So let me copy this link from here. And Let's go to the guide for setting up OAuth mechanism. So from here, you will get the client ID and secret. So following this guide is very straightforward. You have to go to OAuth plugin in over here. Once you log in here, right, you just need to type here OAuth and you, you will get this option system OAuth. And under that, you have to go to application registry. Once you go to application registry, you'll get here uh, OAuth, like you'll get an existing list of applications or uh, the credential configuration. Uh, I already uh, created this SN OAuth, SN underscore OAuth for ServiceNow underscore OAuth. So uh, for you, this option will not be there. So you can click on new and uh, you can select create an OAuth endpoint for external client. Once you choose this option, you are, you are provided a client ID and client secret will be generated once you fill all the details and do a submit. Then you will be able to copy that client secret. So let me show you an example. I'm just doing it this for test purposes. 
uh, increase the refresh token lifespan or token li lifespan yeah. and if you want to specify any redirect url or logo url that also you can do for now let me submit this as soon as i do submit the client id and client secrets are created to view your client secret you can toggle copy that and store it somewhere with you so that was all about setting up client id setting up oauth mechanism in service now to get your client id and client secret to use here in this authentication method and the third point is about rules so if you want like by default we we don't need this option if you are done with these two prerequisites then you're all good to use service now package in a360 however if you are not getting the options you you feel like there are some rules which are missing then what you can do is you can go to this link and create few rules here because you are already having an admin access on your portal then you are, you will be allowed to create all these rules so guys that's all for this video hope you have liked this thanks for your time